four main types of aircraft in Panzer Corps II. Fighters are great for clearing the sky from enemy aircraft and can protect adjacent friendly bombers from enemy fighters. Tactical bombers can be used to deal direct damage to enemy ground units and are especially dangerous to enemy vehicles. Strategic bombers deal most of their damage as suppression, but they're also great at reducing enemy entrenchment and destroying supplies, like fuel and ammo. Finally, recon planes have no offensive capabilities, but can be used to scout and reveal huge areas of the map. All air units act from their bases and go back to their bases every turn. When your aircraft don't have enough range to reach their targets, you'll need to rebase them to another base located closer to the destination. There are two types of air bases in Panzer Corps II, airfields and aircraft carriers. Airfields come in two variants, normal and dirt. Dirt airfields have smaller capacity and cannot host some aircraft types, like large strategic bombers and jets. The location of your air bases is extremely important. Fighters and tactical bombers fight more efficiently close to their base. But if the base is too close to the front line, you could lose it to a sudden enemy offensive. When this happens, your aircraft will automatically move to a different base and lose their next turn. If there are no more bases available, you will lose all aircraft instantly. Don't let this happen. Last but not least, bad weather can have a drastic effect on your air force. On rainy and snowy turns, your aircraft won't be able to perform any mission. Always watch the weather forecast carefully 